God, I don't want to stop your flow, but can you pass the peel off? Oh, God. That's butter. You know what? Butter's better. Well, when did you sort of settle on the, the murder mystery musical aspect? Because it's such a wonderful surprise, I would say, <laughs> that I'm ruining now before the movie. No, that's right. You're allowed to say that. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But I mean, it is, it's an amazing kind of hook for the movie, and I was wondering where that came from. Pretty early. Okay. Yeah. I feel like... We, it was something that we knew we could not do on the TV show, but we we're like, oh, we can do it in a movie. Like, we can do it. Um, <laughs> and like a body. And, um, but it's a, a, well, yeah, I don't want to get into it, but it's yeah. a kid friendly body. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it was like some, so, and also we all love that genre so much, like so much. Right. So that was just exciting to write for. Um, so pretty early, I'd say, like almost right away. I feel yeah. like we're like body. Yeah, body and musical, uh, yes. uh, uh, musical numbers. Not a musical, capital M, but musical numbers. We Is that did... how you identify this? Yeah. Okay, what's the uh, difference? Uh, a proper musical is gonna be a lot of music. Um, and the story is gonna move forward in every song. Okay. And, or at least some deep part of the character is gonna be revealed. Um, and they're great. And um, there, there's, uh, we have a lot of appreciation for capital M musicals, but we are kind of genre thieves. Um, and we wanted to just take, take from mystery, take from action adventure, take from musicals, um, and, and, and to some extent, I guess even moments of drama, but we really um, didn't want to stay in one lane right. all the way through. Well, I wanted to ask sort of what were you looking to push in the uh, movie, either visually or, you mm. know, because it is a really striking looking movie. I know you worked with like, what, five different vendors on oh, this? Oh, way more than more that. that. Yeah, yeah, so by the end, we yeah. worked with a ton. But okay. yeah, visually, it was, we were, you know, we really, from the from the word go, we wanted it to be a big screen event. And, and, in, a, and in a big way, differentiating from the show, we right. wanted to really make people realize like there was a good reason to come and see this on the big screen right and so and we had a fantastic uh production designer called reuben hickman and so yeah we all coming from tv you know it was it was amazing to bring someone in with this feature experience who'd come from he worked on shows like uh, movies like uh, spongebob and and he so he had that experience of taking a tv show to the big screen and what he did was amazing just like just with a He'd take one of our plain backgrounds from the show and then he'd add some shadows and light it a certain way and all of a sudden it was just like, this is amazing, you know, this this looks like a feature film, right. you know. And so visually that was a big part of it, just getting into backgrounds and stuff. And then also it's all about the time, you know, so getting into the acting where on the show you have so, so little time to get acting right. And this was the opportunity that we could just tinker and tinker and get in there with the acting and do it just how we wanted it. What Bernard means, just for, for anyone who's curious, acting, when we say acting, we mean the facial acting of the animation, not right. the voice yes. acting. Uh, though we certainly uh, noodle with that all the way till the end too. But but what on, on, the, uh, on the production schedule for television, you're going to hit only a certain percentage of your notes. It's just the reality. You're going to, if you have, you know, 30 notes, um, they just can't do them all. And, and so you, you sort of say goodbye to a certain percentage of them. Uh, and it's, you know, it hurts. Right. Uh, but with the movie, what, he, what Bernard is referring to is, if you think that maybe Louise's pupils should shift ever so slightly, like she's thinking, in the middle of a line, even if we've touched that shot before, we'll put it down. And with our production staff being as good as they were, we were able to hit all of those little spots. So wherever you see somebody's eyebrows go up just a little bit, or somebody's pupils wiggle for a second, we did that, and we did it probably five times till we wow. till we got it exactly how we wanted it. Well, having gone through this, are you more bullish about doing a sequel, or is it, are you just like new way? Uh, yeah, we'll do a sequel. Yeah. Okay, all right. Did you hear it's, from it's someone? The, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah oh. se separate from however our our uh, you know friends at the studio. Uh, that, that's their decision uh, on a, you know, as, as a piece of business. But uh, I know I'm speaking for the three of us anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the most fun things you can do to make a movie, an animated movie, to make a Bob's Burgers animated movie is uh, pure pleasure. Okay. So and, we will do it again in a second. Yeah. And all the things that we wanted desperately to, to fit into this movie, but it just couldn't, it, it would have messed up the story. Like, we're like, ah, oh, if we ever get a sequel, we can put it in that. So, yeah. Like, Which is the most naive thing anyone's ever seen. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be the worst movie. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> None of it goes together, but... <laughs> well, thank you guys.